Welcome to another episode of Pop-Up Golf taking place in Aotearoa, New Zealand. In this episode, I turn this private garden into a two-hole golf course. The first is a very short par 3. The second a par 4 with a completely blind approach shot. I started moving the wrong one. Oh yeah, that one you don't want to touch. I have my partner on the camera this time and her dad is the greenkeeper. And look at him just whipping up a flag from old scraps. Thank you. That's beautiful. Always a subtlety Always here. Always but it can change any moment. We are at the pristine grounds of Tussock Rice. I'm not going to reveal the exact location as we, we can't have people flocking here trying to beat my score. Tussock separate the raised tea box from the island green, although the concrete pathway splitting the two is not to be ignored. So yeah, I'm currently four over par and hole number two for me in this Aotearoa New Zealand series is this short par three. It's about as short as Gowie's confidence is low when he's chipping. Okay, nine iron. Let's see how I go without barely any practice. Look at this. Look at that. Right in there. Oh. There it is. Here's a fun fact for viewers. Andy actually helped plant this tussock yeah, four cool. years ago. And uh, it's come back to bite him. I'll take a drop. <laughs> One penalty stroke. Looks good with the house. Okay. So I'm going to shoot my third shot. Oh no! What's happened now? The drama. Oh, it's under the bin. Which is a little obstacle. I can move that back to the. Is that allowed? Back to the worm farm. Yeah. Okay. Everything's allowed. Okay, this is gonna be difficult. Oh, this is gonna be ugly. Okay. Now we're over here. There's five. Oh no. You're both closer to the hole and further away. Don't know how you did that. Um, you almost hit me. I'm using a five dollar club from the op shop. Yeah. I can shoot from anywhere and not worry about <laughs> club's condition. Oh, the serenity. Okay. For those watching from home, we're now within striking zone. What is it called when you're five over par? There we go. Woo. I might just try that one more time. I know, I know, this doesn't count, but look at this shot. Go for it, Andy. Oh, and this is for a three. Greenkeeper says grass is too long. Oh, that's the greenkeeper? Yeah, there's a lot to answer for. Oh, three's okay. Three's alright. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's pretty good. After some uh, careful investigation of the area, we actually found that instead of just playing a par 3, we can make it into a par 4 if we make the old green, the little landing area, fairway, and then down here, about 40-45 meters, and about 10 meters down, we have a new hole for, a, um, for par 4. Let's try it out. Those 45 meters to go. Yeah. So I think the, actually the best thing is if I take a drop. Okay. Let's see down there. Oh. Okay. Well, at least it didn't hit the road. Here comes our golfer. Completely overshot it. Oh, no. But you didn't go on the road. And that's important. That's that's basically a win, not so killing you, anybody. So you're saying I have to go into this bush. Yeah. We're down at sea level here. Good start. Oh, you okay. can see the ball. Okay, and there's the cone. Okay, before you ask, wait. Didn't you have a flag before you could use? Then, let me tell you, this specific plot of land does officially not belong to the grounds of Tussock Rise. So, we went with a cone instead, so we could make a, you know, quick in and out. Well, at least the intention was to be quick. Gotta get over that big bush now. Yeah, I'm opening up the clubs of the huge loft. Oh, this is a... This is a vice column now, a how-to video. Flop, flop shot. Great, can't wait. Yeah. This might be the last time I see you, Paul. I can still see the ball. <laughs> but uh, I'll better take a drop. Yeah, a lot of drop shots today. Take a drop from in here. Okay. My fifth shot. Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my God. Straight back into the bush. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah. It's just there. <laughs> okay. Have a try. Okay. Oh. Hey, we are back on the fairway. That's not too bad. Okay, so this is my eighth shot. Yeah. Oh, well, close enough. Okay. Nine. Nine is my lucky number. So. Hey! Bye bye, ball. You have not served me well. Oh boy, first a tenner on the short par 3, and then a 9 on the par 4. I've really got to step up my game to avoid Gawi banning me from his channel. So, in the next episode, I go to a town that has pa written all over it. I'm gonna do my best to get a pa in Pa Tea. Get it? <laughs>